Now I want to get a little bit into variable speed. And before I do that, I'm going to uh, double click on the click, uh, clip and open it in the viewer. And we're going to come up and open the motion tab. In the motion tab, I want to open the time ramp. And then we're going to hit shift, hold down shift and then hit Z to bring this whole um, graph into view. Under the time ramp, time ramp, what you're seeing is the graph of the timing of the video. The y-axis indicates the number of frames from the beginning of the clip to the end of the clip. And the x-axis is the duration of time that the clip runs from start to end. This graph, when it's a perfectly straight line, indicates that you're playing at 100% and there's no variation in speed. So let's go back to our clip now that's set to run at 100% with no variations in speed. Select speed and now select variable speed. The duration of the video never changes unless you change it here. The, the whole purpose of variable speed is to speed up or slow up, slow down a portion of the video without affecting the duration. So watch what happened over here. Now this turned into an S-shaped line. And basically what it's saying is that um, it's going to run slow, speed up, and then slow down again. Let me play the clip and show you what I'm, what I'm talking about. Alright, so let's hold down the shift key and hit Z and I mean I'm sorry option Z and undo that and go back over here there's another th another thing that you can do to uh, to work with variable speed come down to your tool palette and select your mark your pen tool and come back over to the line and you can make marks on your time ramp line and adjust it yourself and on top of that if you want it to be smooth then you can right click or control click on it and smooth it out and then it becomes a line that you can change the shape and which affects a lot larger area and it makes things more gradual okay I'm gonna control click and hit clear now, what we're going to do to demonstrate this next section is I'm going to say that that 5.2 uh, seconds into the video, we have the, the model walking at us in this direction. Let's say that we want that to occur um, only one second into the video. What I'm going to do right now is with the pen tool still selected, I'm going to come over where my playhead is and I'm going to select that the line and put in um and put in a keyframe. Now what we're going to do now is select the timeline and I'm going to put the number 1.0 and that's going to take me to 1 second. Okay, so there we are at one second. Now if you come up the playhead's hair at one second. Now with the playhead where it is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this marker and I'm just going to drag it. And at the same time, I'm watching the video. I know you can't see it from here. But I'm going to get the video to the position I want it at. Once I'm on this line, I can move it up or down to get the subject right where I want it to be. Now if you see the subjects here and what's happening is the video now will play real flat fast to this point and since the duration didn't change it'll slow down for the rest of the video to make the duration last the same. Let's play it and I'll show you what I mean.
All right, to get a better look at this, come down to the bottom corner of your screen and um, hit your toggle keyframe button. And it's gonna open up your keyframe editor, or, yeah, your keyframe editor underneath your clip. If you don't see what I'm seeing right now, and what I'm referring to is this dashed line right here, come back to this button and control click or right click and select video and select speed indicator and it should come up but what this speed indicator is is it it shows you exactly what's going on all these lines represent segments of your video and see how they're grouped really close together in this area right here that means the video is playing fast there and then it shows that it's slowing down so let's make another change and I'll show you how this all works so what you can do is We'll have our, our uh, pen tool selected again, and we're going to come and make another mark right here. Now let's just take this mark here and drag it straight down. Okay, did you notice how some of these lines turn red? Because what's going to happen now is the video is going to play fast to that frame, then it's going to go backwards to the frame that we dragged it on here, and then it'll continue to play forward for the rest of the duration. See how it's manipulating the time to just, so it still ends at the same point? But here, let's play and I'll show you what we did. Whenever you're using variable speed, you notice the audio doesn't ever slow down or speed up. Okay, another thing you can do is say that you want this to occur earlier. Come to your keyframe editor where I am down here on, in your timeline and just click on one of the keyframes and drag it. And you notice it just it, it moves along and it changes the way you've set things up. So if you if you decided you want this to happen earlier, it doesn't change what what the video is seeing, but what it does is it makes that occurrence happen sooner. If you want it to happen later, you just drag it farther on. And then if you want to make them more gradual, then you're just going to um, turn this to a smooth line. You can pull on these to make it bigger or push them in to make it smaller. And then we'll just hit play and you'll see. Wow, was that a lot of information or what? Anyway, um, if you didn't catch everything, try watching the video again. And if that doesn't help you, then feel free to uh, post comments or send me emails and I'll gladly reply to them. Thank you very much. And thanks again for your support for this channel.